Uh, Honorable Minister, this is the staff list. At the draft HR manual, human resource manual, the approved structure of KCCA, and staff lists of KCCA. The auditor must be better. I, I, volume number two. So that the system works. This is volume number two. Towards fulfilling the commitment that I made seven, seven years and eight months ago when I accepted the assignment of Executive Director Kampala and the assignment to transform the capital city of this country. I have done all I can to faithfully keep, preserve and add to what I was entrusted with. I'm deeply thankful to God for allowing and enabling me to contribute to the development of our beloved capital. I'm also grateful to His Excellency the President for giving me the opportunity to serve my country. I'm therefore handing back to Ugandans a better city than the one I was, that was, I'm handing back to Ugandans a better city than the one that was handed to me. And I believe that if supported, the Kampala transformation journey will continue to even higher levels. Thank you all, and God bless Uganda. Thank you so much. Commend uh, Jennifer for this handover ceremony, which is fairly comprehensive to the naked eye the Auditor General will see, will use the, 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 the more specific eyes. But to the naked eye, I think it's a very comprehensive exercise of handing over. I therefore will receive the office as handed over by Jennifer Musisi, but with the rider. The rider is that His Excellency has not yet accepted Jennifer Musisi's notice of resignation. He has not technically, he has not yet accepted it, and um, neither has he appointed a replacement or for Jennifer Musisi. I therefore receive this office awaiting further instructions and guidance from His Excellency the president. In the meantime, as Jennifer Msisi has been saying, and as I can attest to myself, she leaves behind a very competent team. I have also, in the course of the two and a half years that I've held office as minister for Kampala, I have interacted with each one of them fairly closely, and I can attest that she leaves behind a very competent team that work in teamwork. And I think that also calls for another round of applause. <laughs> As we wait for uh, His Excellency's further instructions on this matter, I want to assure the staff and the country, particularly the people of Kampala, that there will be no gap in the service in the delivery of services in Kampala and that work will continue smoothly and that the offices of City Hall will remain open as usual and more importantly that trade order and the laws that govern this city will continue to be upheld as they are supposed to. Although the president has not yet responded to the resignation of Jennifer Msisi Semakula from position of Kampala Capital City Authority's executive director since October this year when she asked to be relieved of these duties, the minister for Kampala, Betty Kamia, has accepted to receive this office in a ceremonial handover. I'm Nafka Farida reporting at City Hall in Kampala. Thank <laughs> you.